Now let's go ahead and install all of the dependencies that we want. So I'm still in Visual Studio Code. You can see it in the back here. I just bring up the terminal and then I'm going to install the dependencies using uh, the NPM. So NPM install, we need course because we're going to be dealing with the front end application and we want the front end application to be communicating with the back end application. And there's a thing in browsers called cross origin resource sharing, which is going to stop two different applications running on two different domains to communicate with each other unless the back end application explicitly say, hey, this other app can talk to me. So we're going to need course to take care of that. And then we need that env. That env is because we're going to be passing in some configuration. So when you have that env, then you can use a dot env file where you can load that file up, like you load up the values in that file. And that's how we're going to put over all of our database configuration. So we need to be able to load this file into the uh, node context so that node can read these properties or these uh, parameters that we're going to put inside of this configuration file. And then we need express so that we don't have to build the server using regular node, which is going to be like really verbose. So we don't want to do that. So we're going to be using express and I'm going to use another one called IP so that I can see the IP address of the server, but you don't need to put that one. You can just omit it if you want. And then we need the MySQL. I'm going to use the two version. So MySQL two, make sure you specify that version as well. So not really a lot of dependencies. And the only ones that we really need are really the express and MySQL two. But of course, if you're going to, you know, be using this application with a friend application, then you're going to need course and then that ENV for convenience. IP for convenience. So I'm going to press enter and that's going to go ahead and install all these dependencies and I'll come back when this is over. Oh, never mind. It's already over. And now if we can take a look at the package adjacent file, you can see that we have this dependencies property now, which is an object. And then we have all of our dependencies with whatever the latest version is. So now we have to install some uh, type definitions because we're working with TypeScript. So we need to have code completion. And to do this, uh, I'm going to do uh, up arrow key and then I'm going to do dash D because those are dev dependencies and I need to do at type forward slash course for course and I don't need to do it for that env so we're gonna say type forward slash actually this is supposed to be types so let's make sure I change this so types and then types and then express and we also need to do the same here so at types forward slash ip do it for mysql so at and then we're gonna do types forward slash MySQL. And then we're going to need node mon. So put that in there and we need TS nodes. So TS dash nodes. And then we're going to do TypeScript as well. So TypeScript. Uh, I don't know why this is doing this. So let me clear the screen. Oh, there we go. So we're going to do TypeScript as well, because, you know, just in case that they don't have it, I uh, need to delete this so I can understand what's going on here. So TS node space type script and then control L. All right. I don't know where this is going. I think if I run it, it'll be fine because I typed it incorrectly, but I don't know why the command line is doing this. But anyway, we need to install those dev dependencies. So I'm going to go ahead and press enter. All right. I'm going to let this go. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. And I got an error here and the error is for MySQL type. So I'm going to go ahead and make this full screen because I want to see what's going on here. And then I think we need to change this to something else. So we have to say here uh, just types So change this and then MySQL2. I don't think we have to put the at in the beginning of that. So let's go ahead and press enter and see what happens this time. All right, everything seems to work this time. So make sure you remove the add types in front of the MySQL2 uh, version whenever you're installing the dev dependencies. Otherwise, it's not going to work because it doesn't use the add, uh, which is a little bit weird because everything else used the add type. So they probably need to make this a standard. But anyways, all right, so let's go back to the package.json file and let's scroll down. So we know we have all of the actual dependencies that we need. So let's scroll down, make sure we have the types for course, the types for express, the types for IP, types for MySQL. SQL2, and then we have Nodemon, TS Node, and then TypeScript. So we have all of the dependencies that we need to build this application. And I think that's all we need to do for this file uh, for now. So at this point, we should be ready to get started and then start building the application. And that would be another good time to take a break because uh, we're going to be actually coding and everything. So if you want to go grab a coffee or whatever, go ahead and do that and then come back and we're going to continue.